Hello, my friends. This is Alex Koloskov, and uh, today I'll tell you about my assignment for Studio Photography Insights. Uh, the assignment, wa assignment was uh, watch like creative uh, advertisement type of uh, shot for the watch. Uh, I selected uh, my currently favorite watch, which is uh, this little Nixon watch. It's very, well, I like Basically, it. It can withstand the 100 meter uh, dive, which is pretty good for watch. So I was thinking it would be cool to kind of uh, to make a shot with uh, liquid with water with water on this watch showing that feature that it's basically almost like a diver's watch even though it doesn't have any specific functionality for divers uh, so we got watch right uh, what else uh, then I got this little uh, fish tank this was uh, not made by me, I prefer to do it myself, but uh, that was probably the first uh, tank I bought. It's just a little tank where I removed uh, that black pl uh, plastic stuff from the top, and while removing, I even break it. But uh, so far it works, especially for that kind of shot, we need only half uh, of it. Stop. Okay, so the tank, and uh, I use this uh, kind of do-it-yourself uh, little shooting table. You see, basically it's an old tripod. Uh, I weld a uh, metal base on top of the head and with those uh, sticky thing I can attach anything to it. Basically now it's two layers, one metal plate and another one black uh, glass, right? <laughs> and uh, I'm going to put it, uh, but before I do so I will do this. This is foil. And uh, I already did the shot. I'm just explaining you how I did it. Uh, the foil was needed to... Well, I'll tell you later why you need foil. Now you can just start guessing it. So, foil goes on, to uh, on the bottom. Uh, tank. Half full tank. Goes on top. Right? Then, uh, this cool device. I use it to hold my watch. Basically, this is uh, grip it, uh, magnetic with magnetic base. The link to it will be posted on my uh, blog, as usual, uh, on that uh, post uh, regarding this tutorial. So, the watch, the grip. Grip, I'm connecting it to uh, just diffuser holder. Well, I guess it goes this way, right? So. It can be anything. And okay, so the watch being fixed like this, and I can easily adjust it, right? And uh, now I'm going to lower it to aquarium, to our tank. Uh, lower, adjust uh, the way I like. And so something close to this. I can always make it a little bit loose. So the face of the watch will come to the camera. Camera is right here. Now the camera and the lighting. Uh, Canon EOS 5D Mark II with macro 100 millimeters macro lens. I prefer to shoot macro with studio in, in studio because uh, the best uh, quality and sharpness uh, comes from macro on that kind of distance. That's why uh, we call it macro, right? Uh, so X sunk one of two hundred of a second uh, uh, f eighteen aperture uh, because of the the watch face being not in parallel uh, with sensor. It was kind of tilt, right? Uh, I need to kind of deep depth of field to get everything. Plus splashes should be all in the focus. So F18. Uh, the lighting, these two lights was essential uh, for the watch, for the watch uh, itself. Because I can show you, uh, you see the, the watch and uh, those areas where these two soft boxes created nice highlights 
uh, from both sides. And you remember we had uh, we have this uh, foil on the bottom because I was needed to highlight somehow the uh, bottom portion of the watch. Uh, it was only the way to do it. I have uh, foil and I have this light, third light on top of it. It was uh, with snoot, right, 15 degree, uh, well, honeycomb grid on it. And uh, it was hitting the foil and foil was reflecting and uh, this way we highlighted the bottom of the watch. Plus, this, uh, this light, it, it's very sharp right, uh, light compared to soft boxes, right? It, that light created that edge on the waves, that little bright uh, top edge because uh, it, it, it was very bright uh, light compared to the rest. And the third light, well, not third, fourth light was right here. And uh, that was entirely for, for the watch front of the watch, watch face. Uh, what else? Uh, black background, right? We have just cardboard sitting there. Uh, even though uh, the angle was not really kind of hitting, uh, even though the camera was not uh, looking at the background directly, it, it kind of gave a uh, kind of dark environment for the water. Uh, obviously, lighting was at uh, action mode, Dosenstein's. Uh, the, with F18, power was relatively high. So this is basically it. Uh, after I got to my lighting setup, I start shaking uh, the aquarium and shooting, shooting, and I got more than 300 of shots, uh, basically. Uh, because nobody can predict how wave will go, it's the only matter of uh, getting your right wave. And again, uh, is it right or not? Maybe I need to shoot 100 more and I will get one perfect. So, so it's all about the time you have and you can spend on such of shots. Uh, I did mistake at first. I had this watch a little bit downward because this is kind of the head, this is the bottom, right? This is how we look at the watch label on top. And I put them like this in the water. I just was, I didn't think it through well. And I got a lot of shots like this. And then we start evaluating, uh, and then only it, it will, it actually popped up in Jenia's head. Uh, she said, oh, why you have a watch uh, down? So it's they supposed to be like this, right? Water like that and watch a little bit higher. That's the only thing uh, I know I did wrong. And uh, again, it's only a matter of time to reshoot and to get that shot. Again, I did I did correct shot and uh, you'll see many different shots I'll show you. But uh, we selected the one which where it's down because we like the splash. Okay, this is it. Uh, I hope you like it. As usually, uh, it was for uh, Studio Photography Insights, Google Plus Hangout, which uh, I and uh, Dave Nietzsche doing every Wednesday at 10 p.m. Eastern Time at uh, Google Plus. Uh, video will be from the Hangout will be posted on my blog. Um, and every photographer who submit uh, their work to our forum is uh, will be reviewed. I hope we can review it still. Uh, when it will be too much, we we'll probably will select just uh, uh, several from the submission. But so far we we are able to keep up. So just watch our next uh, Hangout and uh, if you want to learn something, uh, do an assignment and we'll talk about it and we'll suggest you something. Thank you and uh, see you next time. Bye, Alex.